All right, welcome everybody. My name is Becky and I'm the VP of Sales at VC. So today I'll be covering the VC Clinic Enterprise version. So, you know, uh, for those who don't know what VC Clinic is, so let me give you a little bit background. So VC Clinic is a telehealth workflow platform that can cover uh, different many use cases such as urgent care, like specialist consultation, hospital telemedicine. So I will get into uh, more of those use cases later on. Uh, but for today, the demo that I'll be showing you using my clinic is the urgent care center uh, scenario. So in this uh, product tour, I'll be following this order. I will show you patient workflow first, then I'll switch over to provider workflow and then to admin workflow. I will pause uh, between these rows to answer your questions, uh, but it will be only like a few minutes to take, um, you know, like uh, three to four questions. And then at the end, we do have uh, like, you know, very long Q&A sessions. All right, so let me show you my clinic page. Okay. All right. Hey, Anne, can you confirm that can, uh, you can see my uh, web page? Yes, I see it. And also you can ask people to raise their hands and we can and you can see if people how people are responding. So if you can click your little hand raise so that we know okay. that you're seeing what um, you're seeing Becky's VC clinic. I see. OK, uh, is the go to webinar panel blocking my uh, web page? No, no. OK, great. OK, let me go over this. Okay, let me take this down here. Okay, all right. So this is my clinic. It's kind of like a landing page, storefront page for my clinic. Again, the scenario or use case I'll be using today is an urgent care center. So you can see, you know, this is my custom URL for my clinic. I can give this URL to my patients through email, like in my like confirmation email for their appointments. And then uh, I have my clinic logo, VC clinic. And then I also have my clinic uh, kind of like a description, like operation hours and some of the symptoms that we can treat over telehealth. And in the middle part, uh, I added the uh, kind of like an educational video, how to use the VC teleconsult uh, video appointment. So if you have any marketing video or educational video that you would like to put on your landing page, you can also do that. Uh, at the bottom of the page, I list all of the providers that I have in my clinic. So, you know, right now we have three providers working for my clinic, including myself. So as a patient, again, this is a patient view. This is what patient will see when they come to your clinic page. So if they see, uh, you know, uh, providers are available online, they can go into the waiting room, you know, just see the like, provider right away. So if you go into the waiting room, let's say uh, you can sign up for an account or you can proceed as guest. So, you know, you urgently need to see a doctor and then you don't care which provider you get to see. You just need to see someone like, you know, right now Then you can proceed as guest and then, you know, skip all the registration process. And let me show you uh, the appointment scheduling first before I go into the waiting room workflow. But uh, if you want to see a provider at a later time, then you can book an appointment. Uh, if you click on book appointment, then you do need to create an account because we'll be sending you the confirmation email for your appointment and you know appointment reminder, all these communication emails. So for that reason, a patient needs to sign up and create an account with us. But for this demo, I already have an account, so I will log in as a patient. Okay. Right now, I logged in as a patient, Susan Wong. Remember, I am trying to make an appointment with the provider. So the next step is, is asking me, who is this visit for? It could be for myself, or if I'm um, booking an appointment for my kid or for my other family member, I can add their name and then book it for them. But for this demo, I'll be booking it for myself. All right, next thing is the intake form. Uh, remember VC Clinic Enterprise version is very flexible, customizable. So this intake form can be customized to your needs. So if you would like to just ask like one question, what's your name? And then, you know, boom, get into the waiting room. You can also do that. Or if you wanna collect more information about your patient, you can also add additional questions in this intake form. But for this one, we have a simple one. 
let's say I have a headache, I want to see a provider, and then currently I am in California. And if I want to share any documentation, let's say my CT scan, then I can upload a CT scan, can attach it, and then I can give my consent. So this is a consent to participate in a telemedicine consultation. So this is a hyperlink. If you click on it, you will see our default uh, consent form. If you have your custom form, uh, you just give it to us, we will digitize it, and then we can link to this link. So this is the enterprise uh, version look like. You can customize like, almost like everything of this custom uh, intake form. All right, so let me continue. And next page is asking me about my medical conditions, allergies, current medications. I can update this information, but I already filled it in when I create an account. But you know, by the time I want to see my provider, if I need to update these conditions, I can also do that. But for now, I don't have any changes. So let me continue. All right, next thing is a uh, visit option. I need to choose a visit option because my provider clinic, they provide different services. So that's why they have different visit options. So as a provider, if you have like different services that you would like to edit, you can definitely configure these uh, visit options, duration, and then there are fees associated with it inside your provider account. So I'll show how you can do that when I show you the provider workflow. So for now, I'll choose primary care, 30 minutes, $40, and continue. All right, next up, I need to pay. So I can choose a credit card on file, and I can go uh, ahead with it. Uh, if I have a promo code from my clinic, let's say you know for insurance patients, uh, you can provide a promo code so that the cost uh, will be reflected only for the copay amount. So they can enter the promo code and then the, the cost uh, $40 could be reduced to like $25. And then again, uh, this uh, charges, the amount is not final. As a provider, you can change this invoice amount later on inside your provider account. I'll also show you later about that. Okay, let me continue. And also for the payment, you can charge before the appointment, after the appointment, at the time of visit, you know, that's your policy. You just let us know and then we can implement that. All right, next step, I can see my provider's uh, calendar. So, you know, I don't care which provider I see, I could see any provider. I just want the SONAS appointment, then you can choose the SONAS appointment that you can get. Or if you are very particular about your provider, let's say, you know, I just wanna see Dr. Becky Wei, then you can choose her name, and you can choose the SONAS appointment, let's say Friday 8 a.m. Then I can confirm my appointment date and time. Right? So it's refreshing my page and then it shows up under my upcoming appointment. So this is the appointment that I just created with Dr. Becky Wei, Friday 8 a.m. And when the appointment time comes, I can, you know, as a patient, I can log back into my patient portal and I just need to start appointment. And this time I got an email notification that I just created an appointment that will also send it to my uh, provider. And then later on, let's say like, you know, 24 hours in advance, I will get the appoint appointment reminder email as well. Okay, so this is for the uh, booking an appointment. And then next thing I wanna show you is how about the, you know, walk-in visit. I need to see a provider right now. In that case, you can enter a waiting room. And then again, you know, who, is this visit for, let's say it's for myself. It's very similar process. You know, you need to fill out your intake form, let's say follow up and then choose where you are located at. This is a little bit, you know, uh, repeat and continue. And again, for your waiting room, if you wanna make it very simple for your patient, we can definitely turn those off. You know, we can turn off these like medical conditions, like extra stuff. Just like, you know, put in their name and then get into the waiting room. We can also do that. They don't have to go through all these steps. I just wanna show you, you know, so that you know that these are the features that are available in the enterprise version. All right, the next thing is uh, e-pharmacy. So I can, as a patient, I can choose my pharmacy. So when my provider send an e-prescription, I can go pick it up in this uh, particular pharmacy. So I already have my uh, preferred pharmacy here. So I'll just continue. And then again, visit, this time is follow-up visit. I'll click follow-up visit, $25, continue. 
and then I have to pay again with my credit card. I can enter a promo code for discount or for copay amount and continue. And I will be getting into the waiting room. Setting up the session. So basically it's launching the VC uh, video application. So at the same time, my provider will get the notification on their you know, desktop or on your mobile devices that someone walks into their waiting room. So this is a video window for VC, but right now I'm using my webcam for GoToWebinar. So that's why you don't see my video inside uh, VC. I only have one webcam. But if I you know, have my webcam available, this is where I see myself. All right, um, let me see for the patient side. Okay, so this is how the waiting room works. Okay, let me, uh, so in this case, uh, a patient gets into the waiting room, uh, patient just needs to wait for the provider and the provider will call me. So, you know, uh, in this scenario, provider is the one who initiates the video call. So, you know, like, because patient just get into the waiting room doesn't mean they are automatically connected to the provider. No, provider needs to initiate the video call from their end. All right, so I'll show you how provider and patient will connect later on. But for this one, let me hang up and exit the waiting room. And I would like to show you other features inside uh, patient portal. Okay, all right. So other thing I wanna show you is the visit Okay, give me one second. Because I also log in as a provider in another browser, it's giving me the alert notification that someone walks into my waiting room. I need to acknowledge that notification. Okay, all right, uh, next one is the visits tab. All right, under the visits tab, I can see my upcoming visits and my uh, previous visit with like, you know, whoever provider, uh, for what reason and then the amount and then I can also see the visit summary so if I click on view I can see the uh, this is this is the one that I just show you so it's not a good example let me go back so let me take a look at this one this is a completed visit uh, with my doctor yesterday so I can click on this view okay so I can see the visit summary date and time with which provider and then what kind of visit type video or telephone and then the status is completed and then I can see my reason for visit and I can also see the uh, patient instructions from my provider so this is kind of like a summary notes from my provider you know who are doing the follow-up you know uh, uh, asking my CD scan result so provider typing all the uh, information that we discussed during the um, video visit and I can also see the invoice amount $25 right Okay, and then the next one is the health tab. So let me click on health. So for patients, uh, they can also have their, you know, wearable devices like Fitbit devices or, you know, like uh, wireless scale or like, you know, blood pressure devices. So if you have those uh, devices, the smart devices, then you can definitely connect with the VC clinic and then keep all your data inside it. So right now I'm seeing the uh, daily view for the April 2nd. Uh, if I wanna see the monthly view, I can also do month because it's only two days in April. Let me show you the March. Okay, so this is a March data. So you can see my weight, my steps, calories burned, sleep, active minutes. Um, for this demo account, I don't have a blood pressure devices or other vital sign devices, but if you do have Bluetooth by the sign devices like blood pressure, glucometer, then we can definitely connect here and then share with your provider. So this is kind of like a, you know, a cloud data you can share with to your providers or uh, you can just you know, keep the data inside just for your own record. So that's the health uh, trackers devices. All right, okay. So, um, so how do you give this, um, you know, like clinic link to your patient? Like I mentioned before, you can definitely uh, copy the link, the URL, because this URL is unique for your own clinic. So you can send it to your patients in your email communications, or you can text them. 
And also another thing our customers like to do is they would like to embed this clinic inside their website because like, you know, most of our customers, they already have their beautiful website. For example, one of our customers tell you here, this is their website and then they just put a big button like consult now. So if you click on consult now, it will redirect you to the VC clinic landing page. So you see this page is a VC, but all of their patients, they just need to go to the uh, provider website and then click the button and then it will get to the uh, VC clinic waiting room. So for Tele here, um, their use case, I would like to mention about their use case a little bit. Uh, so for them, they have a, a group of providers. You see all of these providers are hearing specialists. And then they provide their specialist services to over 400 local clinics across the United States. So for their use case, people going into the entire waiting room, they are the local clinics, uh, providers from the local clinics. So they have the patients with them together in their local clinics, and then they need help from the hearing specialists to get help with the hearing aids. So in this case, patient, they do not go into the waiting room themselves. They have a local provider or, you know, like nearby clinic provider helping them to go into the waiting room and then seeing the, seeing the uh, hearing specialist. So this is kind of like a, you know, provider to provider specialist consultation. So this is the one use case that you can use. Again, you see in this uh, clinic, they have like multiple providers. All, like, all of them are in the same clinic so that you know, they can see all the patients in one place. All right, and then the next one is the, uh, the Maven project. So for them, uh, they require the telehealth login in order to see their telehealth services. So let me click on telehealth login. And then again, it redirect me to um, the VC clinic landing page because I need to log in to see their telehealth services I logged in and I can see all their services. So for the Maven project, their use case is that they have a network of uh, physicians, I mean, different uh, specialists uh, offering their services to anyone who needs these uh, specialist consultation. So imagine if you are a primary care doctor, you need a cardiologist for your patient. You can definitely get uh, you know, cardiologist help from the Maven project. Or oh, this kind of setup, it could be used for hospital telemedicine. Let's say you are the regional hospital and then you provide different kinds of uh, specialty services to rural hospitals or local clinics. You can also set up a page, something like this. Because you know, rural clinics, rural hospital, they don't have all the specialists that they need. So in that case, you can set up this page uh, sorted by your uh, specialty or different services that you can give to your uh, local hospitals. If you choose, let's say like cardiology, then it will be a specific VC clinic waiting room just for the cardiology. So in this waiting room, all of these volunteer physicians are cardiologists. So we create each uh, clinic based on their specialty. All right. And then the hey, next- Sorry, yes. Becky, can we hold just a moment? I think some people, um, they're saying they're having the, their screen isn't updating. Um, oh. Let me just check. Is anyone having trouble? Is anyone's screen not updating? Anyone else's screen not updating? Maybe you can just give us a hand. Um, okay. I think most people are okay. Let's go ahead and go on. All right. Thank you for stopping me. Yeah, please feel free to stop me for any technical difficulties. All right, I just switched to the uh, PCPA page. Can you see it, Anne? Yes. Okay, great. So this is another example uh, from our customer. So the customer's name is PCPA Pacific Coast Psychiatry Associates. So they are, again, a network of uh, psychiatrists, but for them, they do not want uh, just one waiting room, you know, assigned to many provider. For their provider, they want their own private waiting rooms. So they list all of their providers here, and then you can see each provider, they have their own waiting room. Let's say if I want to talk to Dr. Stephanie Chen, I can just click on her particular waiting room, and then I will get into her waiting room. 
So, you know, you can see the different use cases. Uh, you can have just one single waiting room with a whole bunch of providers, you know, monitoring the same waiting room. Or each provider, they can have their own private waiting room. All right. So these are the three different examples from our uh, top customers. Okay, let's see next. Um, I think that's pretty much for the uh, patient workflow. Uh, I will pause for a few questions now, if you have any questions. And I will get ready for my next um, provider workflow. Maybe Erica, yeah. you can. My coworker Erica Chuan, VP of Product, is here as well. She can take your questions and answer for you. Okay, I think Erica might be having some difficulties, uh, technical difficulties. So let me um, try to answer some of the ones that we had got. Um, so someone had asked about whether the provider receives a email notification when a patient for, for a patient appointment, and the answer is yes, um, they do. Um, let's see. I also had a question: Can we change the intake forms from from the providers end, from the admin end, or does VC have to do that? So VC has to um, customize it for you. But I think you saw a couple different examples of how, people, how we've customized the intake forms for different customers. Um, let's see. Where is the link to patients by social media or email? Um, so I'm not sure if Becky went over it, but in the patient side, not, it's not on the patient side, it'll be on the provider side. So she, she will go over, um, there's an invite, there's a way to invite the invite patients from that. And mm -hmm. this, and one of the neat things is the, because the VC clinic, it's, it's the, that link is always there. You don't have to generate a new link every single time, like you have to do with Zoom or something like that. Um, but that's the link that you can give to all of your patients. Mm -hmm. So you can send yes. it via text or via email, however you want. Yes. I will get into that when I show the provider side. Let's okay. see. And is the website responsive for mobile devices? Um, so we actually have a mobile app for patients. So the VC Clinic mobile app. So Yes, it is. Um, so you don't really need the website to be responsive. The, um, they would just use the mobile app. Okay, so I think Becky is ready. Yes. Okay, let me. Okay, okay. all right. Maybe, and you can tap your iPad for your patient. So it will show that online. Okay, all right. Let's go over the provider workflow. Uh, oh, let me, actually, let me log out so I can show you how you can log in as a provider. Okay, so for both uh, provider and patient, uh, you can use the same link that you can log in. All right, so this is the page, right? Uh, the patient C. And if you are a provider, uh, you can log in um, here as well. So let me log in as a provider. Okay. All right, so I logged in as a provider, uh, Dr. Becky Wei. So on the left-hand side, you will see all the patients currently in the waiting room. And then on the right-hand side is my today's schedule. As you can see, I don't have any schedule for today. It's so sad, but it's okay because I have a waiting room so I can see all the walking patients to fill my day. All right, so let me explain about the waiting room. So all the patients queuing in the waiting room, they are in different stages. The first one is ready for visit. Remember the patient Susan Wong I was showing you earlier? So she was she is waiting for the uh, provider to call her back. So you know she has uh, filled out the intake form. She has launched her video window. She can see herself. Then she is like totally ready. Her audio, video devices are all, all ready to go. That's why she is under ready for visit stage. And then you can see that online status, and you can see her wait time, which is two minutes, and you can see her reason for visit headache, 
and you can also see waiting room, like which waiting room this patient is coming from. Because sometimes as a provider, you know, I may work for three different clinics. You know, I have like different schedules. So I should know which this patient is coming from. So for that one, um, as a provider, I can also choose from here. Do I want to display patients only from this clinic or I want to see all the patients from all other clinics? If, I, if my day is very slow, I can also take patients from other clinics. Then I can choose to display patients from other clinics as well. All right, and then you see these are the clinics that I'm in. I am working so hard, so many clinics under my name. Okay, and then the next one is uh, getting ready. So I don't have any patients right now. So uh, patient will show up and are getting ready uh, if they are still filling out the intake form or they haven't launched their video window. So basically they are still in the process, intake process. So you will see them here. And then the next thing is the in progress stage. Remember my uh, urgent care clinic, I have three providers. So as you can see, this patient, Michelle, She's already in a call with uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Dr. Admin. So I can see that you know this patient has been taken care of by Admin, right? So if you have multiple providers working for the same clinic, uh, you can assign all of the providers in the single waiting room, then they can monitor all the patients that are coming in. Then you can take patients as they come in. So you know to reduce your workload. So I don't need to take this patient because she's already taken care of. And then the next patient, I see N. So she is still online. So I can see the, uh, the comment here, or we call it tagging system. It says ready for Dr. Becky Wei. So what happens here is that, you know, uh, for our three providers, we have a front desk person. So the front desk person will be helping us out uh, preparing the patient because not all the patients are tag savvy, right? So the front desk person can also log into this dashboard and then they can call the patient first and then they can prepare all the intake form or, you know, collect any additional information or get the patient ready, uh, you know, in terms of their audio and video devices. And then once they prep the patient and then they are ready for the, for the provider, then they can just tag it. Oh, you know, this patient is ready for Dr. Becky Wei, or this patient is ready for Dr. Amy, whatever they want to tag. So you can definitely add additional role in this dashboard, which is a front desk person because of this uh, tagging system. So for this tagging, you can also be creative. We can do like, uh, you know, uh, preloaded tagging. So you just tag it, or we can also color code it. So you can easily see, you know, like color coded, like red. This is a like very urgent patient. You need to see it right away. That kind of like triage system inside your dashboard. So after my friend desk person talked to Anne, and, you know, she just um, keeps and the patient still in the waiting room so that I can talk to the patient. So on the patient side, they don't have to do anything. They just wait for the provider to call them back. So in that case, I can call N and I can talk to her. So let me click on N. Okay. So before I talk to N, uh, I can also see all the detailed information from her. So I can see her intake form, her chief complaint, and then, you know, where she is located at. Like, you know, did she give a consent for this uh, telemedicine consultation? I can see this here. And the next one is the notes. So this is uh, all the medical history from my patient. And also down here, I have a soap notes. The soap note is for the provider to keep record. And then if you want to send the visit summary or patient instructions, it's here. So I can type whatever I want here for my patient and it will show up in the uh, patient portal. Remember patient Susan, she can see the visit summary from her provider. And as you can see for each uh, notes, you can have a note templates. So we can definitely pre-populate your templates here. So you don't have to type you know, from the beginning, you know, every single time you can just add a new template and then you can just apply it here and then you can edit um, as quickly as possible. And you can also uh, send files to your patient if you want to share any like, you know, like exercise document or any like, you know, breathing exercise or eat healthy exercises, then you can attach those documents here. And you can just save it or sign and send it. Sign and send, when you click sign and send, 
it will stamp with my name and date and time uh, so that you know other providers in my clinic they know that all oh, these instructions are from Dr. Becky Wei, you know, Becky, you know, saw these patients already. All right. Okay, so I previewed these and I can also see the payment here. So this for for this patient, uh, okay, obviously she's using the promo discount code, uh, zero dollars. So if I want to like charge this patient for additional items, I can also do that. Or if I want to change that amount, uh, I can do that as well. This is not a good example to show. Let me go to the uh, different patients. How you can. Because she's a, so, you know, a clinic, you can uh, have a, like a free visit for the first time for your patient, then they can definitely use that uh, uh, promo and then come to visit you. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, so this one, this patient, let me go see. So this is a completed uh, video visit for Susan Wong, but if I need to change the invoice payment amount, I can also do that here. So the previous amount that I charged is $25, but I forgot to charge something else. Then I can definitely add item here and I can put item description and then I can just charge uh, extra for extra services. And I can also apply the discount here and then change the, um, the service fees, right? Okay, now let's go back to my dashboard. I need to talk to N. So okay, go back to dashboard, I'll click on N. If you're too busy and then you cannot call N right away, then you can start a chat. Like, hey, N, you know, I'll be with you in five minutes. You can send a, you know, chat message first so that patients know that, you know, you will be with her shortly. Then once you're ready, you can click on the video icon and then place a video call. So right now I am calling N in VC. All right. Hey, N. Great. So you can see here uh, the patient's uh, video window and my video window. Again, my video window is just blank because GoToWebinar is using my webcam. All right, so this is how you connect to a patient. Let me go back to my, uh, okay, I can change this video layout to make it small and to be on the side so I can see my web browser on the other side, right? Okay, let me go back to my dashboard. Okay, all right, so you can see the status of Anne already in a call with Dr. Becky. So let's say I talk to Anne and then, you know, after that, she needs to make a follow-up appointment with the front desk. In that case, again, I can hang up on her, but keep her in the waiting room. So let's see here, let me click on her name. In the patient detail page, you can see here there's a checkout button. So, you know, as long as you don't click on the checkout button, the patient will be in the waiting room waiting for the provider. So, it, you know, after I talk to her, I can hang up and then keep her in the waiting room so that my front desk can call her back and set up a follow-up visit. Okay. All right. So, yeah, in that case, I can tag it, you know, uh, this patient is for the front desk or, you know, need a follow-up visit. Okay, and then, all right. Okay, so I can hang up on Anne right now. Let me hang up on you. Bye, Anne. Okay, you see the uh, survey, call quality survey uh, pops up. So this could be customized as well. If you wanna ask about the, you know, uh, like service uh, quality with the provider, then we can definitely implement that custom survey, uh, survey for you. Okay, so let me. But this survey is just asking about the call quality. So I'll just fill that out and submit. Okay. And then it's asking me, do you want to check out the patient or keep patient in the waiting room? I need to keep Anne in the waiting room so that she can set up an appointment with a front desk. And then I go back to the waiting room. And then she's still in there. So let me remove this tag and then I can tag a new tag need follow-up visit so that my friend desk would know. And again, uh, we can color code these tags so that you know each person, each row would know, oh, okay, yellow tags are for me to take this patient or red tags are 
for me. These are the fancy features that we can do for you. All right, okay, and then, okay, and then the next one I wanna show you, this is a dashboard, and the next tab is the patient's tab. So under the patient's tab, of course, you can see your own patients, or you can see all visits. Sometimes, you know, there are patients that are not your patients. Uh, they just like, you know, walking to see any providers available. So these uh, visits or these patients will show under here. Then again, uh, for each visit, uh, you can go inside and then you can update all the information. So click on view and then you can update your notes, your SOAP notes, your uh, patient instructions, and also you can update the payment as well. Okay. And then the next one is a calendaring system. So provider, uh, they can open up more slots. Let's say um, I wanna work uh, you know, Saturday or Sunday. So I just drag a time and then either I can schedule an appointment on behalf of my patients or I can just create slots. So let's say I wanna create slots. So let's say from um, 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. I wanna repeat for every Saturday and Sunday until, I don't know, for the next few months and confirm. And then it shows up on my calendar. And then it will also reflect on my patient uh, portal. So all of my patients know that I just opened up uh, weekend slots so they can book an appointment with me. All right, and then the next one is health. Remember our patient, Susan Wong, she has some uh, wearable devices, uh, Fitbit device. So I can see her uh, data in my um, dashboard as well. So right now I only have one patient. I can see her weight, steps, and calories burned. Uh, she doesn't have any blood pressure uh, data. That's why these are blank. So if I am monitoring more than one patient, you will just see like additional rows, one row for each uh, patient, All right? And another one is an e-prescription. So I can write an e-prescription and I send it to the pharmacy that my patient uh, selected in their patient portal, okay? All right, and then the next one I wanna show is the provider clinic. So if you click on provider and then click on my clinic, and here you can uh, configure your clinic uh, settings. So let's see which clinic settings I wanna change. It's my own clinic. So here you can change your room description. Remember, these are the information that uh, patients will see on your landing page. So you can update these informations and also you know, payment, operating hours on and off. So if you turn off your clinic, your patients cannot go into the waiting room. So they don't have to go through the intake form. They will just see um, you know, clinic is not available right now. And then here is how you can uh, edit or configure different services, different visit options, and their duration and their fee. So you can you know, uh, offer free consultations or you can charge for each services. All right, so this is a, uh, kind of like a simple configuration inside uh, provider account. All right, uh, that's all for the provider that I wanna show you today. Uh, please keep in mind that uh, VC Clinic is a very flexible and a very customizable platform. So if you have a, you know, a feature request, definitely please let us know and then we can uh, talk about it because we have other features that are available to like, you know, uh, different customers. I don't wanna show all of the features in this demo because that will definitely overwhelm you. So if you have any like, you know, wish list or like dream features, please let us know. Our team. Yes. Um, so thank you so much for joining us this week. And we, we hope that we'll see you again next week or um, we'll see you soon. All right, take yep. care and have a wonderful rest of your day. I Bye -bye. hope to see all of you again. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.